What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today guys as you can tell by the title of the video another update is coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 online on March 7th which is coming up very soon in about four days and I'm going to show you today how to back up your game files so that you don't have to wait on the updates when the game updates okay so this is going to be for Steam and Epic users we're going to start with Epic users Epic users pull up your main game directory there's one step you have to do now, on your desktop, this is what I want you to do, Epic users and Steam users. Go to your desktop, right-click, um, click New, click Folder, and just simply name this Backup Epics. And for Steam, you would name it Backup Steam. And you're going to click on that folder, right? You're going to create it. Now, when you open that folder, it's going to be empty. All right? And we're going to leave it up right here. Now, in your main game directory, Epic users... You are going to highlight and copy two files in here. Two files. Go to your gt5.exe, highlight it, hold down your control key, and highlight the play gt5. Then right click and click copy. Then go into that empty folder we created, left click, right click, and paste. And your files are now backed up for the update. Epic users, you are done. You are good to go. Steam users, let's pull up our main game directories. And you're going to do the same thing, right click on your desktop, you're going to click new, click folder, and name this Backup Steam, okay? This is for your backup, okay? And you're going to click on that folder, and we are going to open that one, alright? And we're going to pull it over here. Now, in your main game directories, okay, you're going to highlight four files for Steam users, okay? You're going to go here, you're going to highlight the gt5.exe. Hold down your control key and highlight the GTA 5 language select, the GTA 5 launcher, and then let go of your control key and scroll down and highlight the play GTA 5. Then right click, click copy, go into your folder, your empty folder, left click, right click, and click paste. And your files are now backed up. Now there's another way that Steam users can do this, okay? So close out of your main game directory. And click on your Rage plugin hook and immediately hold down the left shift key until your Rage window settings pops up. Okay, just like this. In here, you're going to go to game settings. You're going to go to backup game version and you're going to click on backup current version. Now, this way does not always work on reverting our game, but we do this just in case we happen to need it because I always revert through Rage first. If it doesn't work, then I'll show you guys how to drop the files. So when the game updates, I will do another video showing you guys how to update or how to revert your game back, okay? So it is creating a backup right now. Storing backup. And it takes just, just a few seconds to do this, and then it'll be done. Do, 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 Usually doesn't take this long to back up a game file. There it is right there. It's all done. Okay, now if you click on revert game version, you will now notice that you have 3095, which is your supported version. I don't know why I have two different versions here, why it's asking me to revert. But anyway, you will have two different versions here, okay? Um, and when it becomes available, uh, the update happens, you're going to have an option here, just like mine says, that says revert. And I will show you guys how to do that. You can exit out of this. Now, for those who have multiple copies of GTA 5, if for some reason you do not back up your game, okay, you're going to go to your main game directories. If you have multiple copies like I do, the only one that's going to update is the one that is named Grand Theft Auto 5. If you have other ones that are named GTA 5, you know, something else, copy, clean copy online, those will not update. So, when the update happens, if you did not back up your files, which you should if you're watching this video, then you would go to one of these other copies and go under the same thing. You would highlight the four files I showed you how to highlight, right click and copy them, and then you would go back into your main game directory and then right click, left click, and paste. Okay, that's what you would do. And that is it, guys and girls. That's going to be it. Um, just make sure you keep those files somewhere where they're backed up. Um, put them in a, in a, on, another, on another hard drive or something somewhere. If you guys will notice, I have mine right here. Here's my Epics, and there's my Steam right there, okay? Um, but I think that is going to do it, ladies and gentlemen. As always, guys, put God first in your life. Stay in prayer out there. 
and uh, you know we're um, we're in some really bad times right now, guys, in America and in the world in general. So just stay in prayer, ladies and gentlemen, and be firm in your beliefs. And if anybody ever has any questions about God or how to live a Christian life, or you want to know anything about the Bible, do not hesitate to message me. My DMs are open on Discord and they're open on Facebook. And if I'm awake, uh, whatever time of the day it is, if I'm awake, I will answer you and I will talk to you about God. I will pray with you if you need me to pray with you. It's very important. With that being said, everyone, have an amazing day. God bless you all. And I will see you all in the next video.